This GeoMapApp tutorial shows how to import your own gridded data. GeoMapApp offers the ability to import gridded datasets in a variety of formats. In this example, we'll import two grid files that are in the netcdf gmt.grd format. These grids give the depth to the top of the subducting slab for the Andes and Middle America trench areas in kilometers. When the grids have been successfully imported to GeoMapApp, a number of files and folders are produced in the same directory where the grids reside, and these files and folders allow zooming to be done on the imported grids. In order to import the grids, we use the File menu and choose the Import a 2D Grid File option. The first thing we need to do is specify the format of the grids to be imported. A number of options are available and we see these from the drop down menu. The grids in this example are the gmt.grd format which is the default. And after selecting the format we hit the OK button. We now use the navigation window to find the grids to be imported and more than one file name can be specified using the shift or control keys. Like so. With the file name selected we hit the open button. In this window we verify that the range of the grid values is sensible. The west, east, south, north, latitude, longitude values are listed here and below that are the minimum and maximum values of the third dimension, in this case 50 to 299 kilometers. Since the grids used in this example give the depth to the top of the subducting slab, we'll scale the third dimension values by a factor of minus one to change the values to be negative. In order to do this, we change the value in the scale z values window to be minus one. And we wish this scaling factor to be applied to all of the grids to be imported, so we go down to the bottom and click the button Apply to all remaining grids. And we hit the OK button. Depending on the speed of the local machine, this process may take some time, but is generally fairly fast. When the grids have been successfully imported, two new windows appear. The first is a grid dialog window, shown here, and with this window we have access to all of the functionality that we have for built-in grids. For example, we can draw contours, take profiles, change the vertical exaggeration, or change the location of the artificial illumination. The second window to appear is the layer manager window, and with this window we can turn the imported grids on or off by ticking or unticking this box, like so. And we can change the transparency of the imported grids by using the slider bar here, in this manner. As a quick example, let's zoom to the Andes grid and we'll draw contours and take a profile. Let's first move the layer manager window out of the way and we'll move the grid dialog window down a bit. Let's zoom to the area. We'll choose this area here. Next we'll draw contours on the grid using the contour function in the grid dialog window. We select the contour function. The default values look OK, 10 km contours between minus 160 and minus 50 km, so we hit OK, and here we see the contours. Next we'll draw a profile across the imported grid. For this, let's first deactivate the zoom function, and turn the cursor back on, and then we draw the profile using the profiling function in the grid dialog window, this function here. Once selected, we draw the ends of the profile, and here is the profile window. We see that the third dimension value is listed in the top of the profile window here, and notice that although the units are actually kilometers, the default units of meters is listed here. 
That third dimension value is also listed in the top of the GeoMap app window. With imported grids we can use all the same functionality in GeoMap app that we could with a built-in grid. And for more details on those grid analysis functions, see the introductory and the data analysis tutorials. Lastly, the set of files that was created by GeoMap app when the grids were imported can be seen in the navigation window here, and this set of files and folders can be deleted if the imported grid is no longer needed. More information on GeoMap app can be found at www.geomapapp.com.